Hey everybody, welcome to this video. This is the middle of the month check-in with Memory Planner. If, you, if you're new to this channel, this is the part of the show where we talk about Memory Planner and stop the blur. So let's get started. So as I alluded to in the introduction, this is the 15th or so of the month when brand new Heidi Swap Shop comes out with not only a brand new Stop the Blur memory, memory Planner kit, there's also a Stop the Blur video class with lessons to show you how to add to your memory planner and also stamp society. But today we're going to focus on memory planner because this is like my once a month check-in. There's a series on this channel that goes through um, month by month. You can just jump in anytime and see what might be happening in my memory planner. So I am working in this blush ledger. I have April. I've just been working on May and then June will fit in here also. I chat with so many memory planners and I try to be encouraging and I don't think I am because I'm like, how's May going or how's April going? And I get, yeah, I just finished February. Then I'm bump. And so I, please don't compare. Everyone needs to be where they are. And here's the real fact about this. Um, I'm trying to find the page that, the week that I don't have in here. So I mean, we got a whole week here and I don't have all of May done either, but I have enough to, um, share with you guys, hopefully some ideas, hopefully some encouragement and maybe some product usage as well. So we start here with May and I, I just went crazy over the new May kit. Now that kit is no longer available as of the posting of this video. This is a subscription based kit and it's available from the 15th to the 15th of the month. And so now June's kit will have been made available and I'll show you what that looks like in here as well. But this is a whole lot of May going on here. There is labels. I use that to stamp the month. There's this fun little foil with like this ghost, um, kind of holder, if you will. I used the stamp of that month's kit and added learning and working. I have, um, one of the rainbow notepads and then I added journaling underneath currently was a big theme. You're going to see this used a lot this month. And there's these awesome vellum butterflies, which, you know, it just screams spring, May, fall, whatever, <laughs> whatever time of month, what time of year we're in. I'm here for the butterflies. And then I just layered it with another die cut of the ledger paper of Heidi's. And then I have, um, like I said, the currently tag, and it came with a whole bunch of stamps. And I did Here Comes the Sun because we had an April sunless month. So I was super excited when May came because like the sun came with it. And so some journaling under that. And then I had fun with the May uh, Stamp Society kit, which where the dies are available forever, the ticket dies. But the uh, stamps um, are no longer available. This was through the month of um, May and June, ending June 15. But I did have some fun at those and then have a little bit of a hidden journaling under here with kind of an upside down tag. Okay, this is something that honestly, when I got to my May pages, I was kind of up against it because I do like to get these out once a month, but I didn't have very many pages put together yet. And there's just a lot going on. This is a busy time of life with a kid at home who's got a lot life of his own, but can't drive. So he needs me to take him places. So I, I think if I had, I think if I, what do I want to say? What do I want to say here? If I could get away with it, I think I would make all of my pages just like this one here. Don't tell anybody I said that, but do you see what happened here? It is a photo. It is the alpha from that kit. Every kit comes with an alpha. I just happen to use maze there. The Loving is part of the stamp that came with that kit. There's a stamp set that comes with every kit. So I did photo, added some letters, put like a little subtitle, and then journaling. Photo, letters, little subtitle, journaling. I happen to have this little die cut ticket literally laying around. So I added some more letters to it. And then just a, you got this. It was my son's track championship. So it seemed appropriate. Same thing, letters little subtitle, journaling, photo. That's it. That's as, that's as simple. It, actually, you could probably make it simpler. 
Um, I had to add a little bit to it, but um, this is a great way to pound out a couple days, a whole week, a whole month. You want to get caught up? Maybe you hold yourself to, you know what, I'm just going to do a photo. I'm just going to do journaling and I'm just going to show evidence of my life. So I hope that has a little bit of value to you. I hope, I hope you feel the spirit in which I'm speaking um, on that one there. I really did love and I really did enjoy making that page. I love the simplicity of it and the grid and I just so much about it. I loved. So then I came to this page and it got a little more complicated. So again, with this little ghost holder with folders, I added some journaling there, which is kind of the idea and then a photo underneath it. Um, I used um, the butterfly. I'm having trouble finding the appropriate adhesive for this. And these are kind of loose. So I still got to work on that. Um, I found, I think I did it with this. I used double-sided tape, double-sided adhesive that worked best, especially when they're layered because you can't see it. Um, so I just kind of, as some space fillers, sometimes we don't have something to fit in every single space of our planner. So fillers are great. And I just happen to use those vellum um, stickers, I'm sorry, vellum shapes as some filler. Then um, this is from a, the May journal that I did. This is a video back at the end of April, I believe. And I had made up some of these currently tags. And so I just went ahead and added it in here. But I also added this currently as well. And journaling, lots of journaling behind here. And you know, sometimes if you're not a fan of your writing, and sometimes I don't like looking at all my writing, it can get messy. For me, it can get messy. And so I don't mind kind of, I say that, I don't mind hiding it, but then what does she do? She writes on top of it. Yeah, so forget that advice right there. Um, this is one of the quote cards and I just cut it down to kind of fill this space here. Um, some more of the kit's lettering is here, kind of giving title to the page. I added in the same idea here. I kind of did some repeat stuff here. That was, I'm trying to think, I thought I did this someplace else. I think this was just sort of, my go-to here was kind of repeating elements. You know, this was an obvious repeat, right? And so um, my thought on that is, you know, you don't, again, talking about, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. I think this is a great page to give that, for example. And then sometimes you can just repeat those same ideas on a page. It brings cohesiveness to the whole page. It uh, kind of what I want to say, it kind of speeds up the process a little bit. If you don't know, okay, what am I going to do on this section? I, sometimes I think we feel like every little section has to be different. Sometimes these things just happen organically for us. And sometimes we have a complete vision as to what we want, to, want it to look like. It's like all over the place, right? So that's just kind of, as I was working on this, I started adding these titles. I'm like, well, I'm going to add a title over here and I add a title here. And it just for me, it just brought some cohesiveness to my page. So over here, I've used these little sleeves. This is an old product, but um, I added some journaling underneath there. Just a little bit of tape. This little washi tape is from June's kit, and I am in love with it. And I really actually think it just needs to be a whole washi roll of the polka dot because I just keep going for the polka dot but all of it is really beautiful so that is in the June kit so that is something as of posting this video that is currently available until the 15th of July okay so just a little swatch there and then I add a swatch there photo I had Add, I added adhesive to this photo on two sides and that way I was able to just tuck this photo in there but also had some journaling on the back. Again, I'm all about making as much as I can. It doesn't always work and you're going to see another different example of that on the next page but I do like to try to make my photos and my pages as cohesive as possible. It doesn't always work. So like something like this that would, didn't really fit. I really wanted this story because this was like the evidence of my life, because this was my picture of my life. This is this is my kid getting into my car, and this is my life. He's always getting into my car because I'm always picking him up from someplace or taking him someplace. So I had to have that story in here because that is real life, people. And so this here, um, a couple of my kids got baptized at our church, and so I have their pictures in here. This little technique is similar to a technique that Heidi uh, taught in the May class. So if you have not watched that yet, this is a take on that. It's not exactly what she did. My little vellum filler there with that butterfly. And then I used a currently card again. This time I added a score right below the title. And that way I was able to add more journaling here to the under part of this. And then this photo here, this is mom's day. I meant to have like a really big mom. I didn't, I, I didn't get that done, but does it take away from the story? Not even a little bit, not even a little bit. Okay. 
This page here is an example of, Jamie, what's your process? What do you start with? This is a great example of the fact that I started with my photos. I went through my camera roll and I go and I search by day what photos might be in that day. And sometimes there aren't any photos in that day, which there's several, pay there's several days here where I don't actually have photos from the day, which sometimes is just evidence. Sometimes lack of photos for me is evidence of too busy because it means I am just focused on the task instead of focused on my life. Does that make sense? That is something I learned while working on this page and coming up with no photos. Now, this isn't to say we have to have a memory planner that is full of photos. I'm not saying that either. I'm not saying any one extreme here. It was just a opportunity for me to reflect on the week and to look at my notes because I keep notes. I have a video about uh, keeping daily notes that don't aren't initially in here. They're initially in my daily journal. And when I go through there and I, <laughs> same thing on in my daily journal, I hardly had any notes. And so nothing is wrong with being super busy. Nothing is wrong with, you know, being, being task oriented and trying to get a thing done. If, if I noticed that a whole month went by and I wasn't taking just what I call seeking beauty photos and I didn't have journaling written on my daily pages, that would be a red flag to me that I I am being way too task oriented and I'm not slowing down. And so I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute as I get to that day. But I don't know. What is your memory planner telling you? Maybe it's telling you something. I mean, it could even be it could be the story of, you know, you're not living enough life. You know, you are hanging out, um, binging Netflix too much. I don't know. I don't know what it could be telling you. And I, I am not a judge here by any means, because I don't know anybody's life. I just know for myself that sometimes that's the story too. You know what, Jane, you, you are not taking time for life. Anyway, let me unpack what I did here. So because so many of my photos came to the surface and I found this green theme, this was a great example of going through past um, kits and looking for the color. And it really actually kind of stumped me for a minute because I, I just wasn't really feeling the peeled paint, but this is my peeled paint pages. <laughs> and I just went with it. And I, I don't even know where a lot of the product comes from in terms of what month, because my kits are getting really broken. And I don't always get things put back where they belong. I mean, I don't know. And I've told you before, I haven't broken everything up into color. I'm not quite ready to do that yet either. I do like the search. It's like going to a thrift store. You know how you go to a thrift store and you don't know what you're going to find. And then you find that thing. That's kind of what it was for me going through. And I finally landed on, you know what? I'm going to go with this peeled paint. That's the color. Why, is, why am I saying peeled paint? Because of the distressed oxide peeled paint. Because that's what I used. So what I did to start, I'm just going to break this down. This big day, this big day here is an old sticker from an old kit. The Stop the Blur are the skinny um, puffy stickers. Um, I had photos. I didn't get my journaling done on this. I just realized that right now. And I had a bunch of photos already cut up to kind of talk about Stop the Blur because it was a three year anniversary. And so I had, um, I actually have mostly um, Stamp Society in here, but because um, that's the pictures that were on my camera roll. But I, I will be journaling about that. Um, just enjoy where you are now was just a really important um, message for me. The don't quit, the the don't quit, the beautiful and the okay are, is this very old uh, stop the blur sticker sheet is where that came from. Um, now this little grid journal that is from June's kit. I just let me see. I I, I basically kind of broke into this kit already because I just love this gridded. Um, journal spot so much. I, I, this needs to be in the shop as like a regular product because that was really good. And then here, this sleeve, I used one earlier. I used the black one here. I used May's captions to add some, um, thought to the front of it. I have a photo there and then I have my journaling on another note card that I found in my stash of kit. 
can't tell you where it's from. The currently now, this is again, the currently from May, but I unpacked this green and this is really what started the whole, okay, let's go with green. When I saw this, I'm like, oh, I got to make that work. Okay, well, let's just go with it. And I stopped thinking. I just started doing this window here is also from a previous kit. Don't know which one. I think it was a last one because I just don't use green a lot. And um, so I have a photo in here. Then I also came across this notepad again with that green and I wrote my journal journaling on there and attached it to the back. And then this is an old printable from another kit. I cut another, I swear I have it all together. I just forgot where I put it, which is super apropos for that day. Oh my goodness. And the hidden, hidden journaling <laughs> is what that needed. And then here, um, some days I don't take photos or hardly write a thing. Think just spent from the week. And I was, I was tired from the week. The week, um, I had, had some projects, had a lot going on that week. So this is a, I don't remember where this stamp set's from, but it's super cool. And I think Heidi needs to do something along this lines just for regular consumption. So I did, yikes, boom. This heart here are from an old kit. I still have a bunch of them left and I just started using them. I don't love using puffy stickers like this because on the other page, it can be really hard to write on. So that's that. I don't have any journaling here yet, but I just use my little um, sticker flip technique there. It's not special to me to add these photos in. This is the big moving day for my family there. And then let me, let me round this out with this conversation here because this was a needed day. Um, I did a selfie of me just sitting in my doorway with a cup of coffee, just enjoying the sun. Yes, I could sit on the patio. I don't know why I was sitting in my front door. I just was. And then just some photos from the day because I kind of just did life a little different on this Sunday. And Sundays are really important days for me to literally, physically, mentally rest. And so I wrote notes here about that very thing. Why? Because I need the reminder. <laughs> I need the reminder to rest. And so sometimes it's okay to have these crazy weeks when I know it doesn't look crazy to you. It's because I wrote nothing about it. There's like nothing in my journal about this week. And it all comes down to, well, you know what? You need to slow down and to pause. Okay. Nothing in this week. And then let me just pop you over. I think I have a couple weeks here already in June. So let's real quick, as this is going a little long, this is June's kit. Heidi has a reel out there with all these pieces, but I added some of the tickets. Um, well, I, the, these are die cut tickets and it's from Heidi's new ledger. Take a deep breath is from the July captions. Rome is from the travel log. And then I have some photos back behind here. Drama free zone is a this month's stamp is from that. I haven't finished this page, this little envelope yet, but I did make an envelope from the new ledger, the six by eight ledger. Give me just a minute is a new stamp. So is this washi, the let's hike, the June. I don't have any more. That's the new letters. It makes me kind of think of Uncharted Mariner, the kind of color that this is here. This is super fun. Um, and I, forgive me, I don't not, I do not have any of my journaling on this yet. But when people were talking about this in the live, the live that got lost, I had already done this and I wanted to have a, a photo on the front of it and then pull this away and then your journaling's there. Um, that's one way I'm using this. And these little notebooks are the bomb. And I have a lot of notes to add on to this. So I'm looking forward to maybe my Sunday when it gets quiet to adding my notes. Here's one more page that I have done so far. And again, not a lot of... Um, Journaling has taken place yet, but I did this little notepad this way. It can go either way. And there's just so much room on here for all the story. I made use of the new uh, Stamp Society with the Go Get em Tiger and added it to here as a little sign. Um, do more of what makes you happy. I kind of added this so it looks like the sign's kind of hanging from the edge of this. Um, this is a... Uh, what do I want to call this? I do have it. There it is. I have a tag in here. I made a tag with photos on a, um, on a ghost tag. And then on this little pretend label here on the front is throw kindness around like confetti. And that's a look at most of May and a little bit of June. This month's memory planner with some stop the blur kit and ideas added to it. So thank you. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I just felt like there was a lot to be said for some different um, ideas. Friends, please. I, and I hope you stay tuned for this message. Please don't compare. 
Please don't get anxious if you don't have April, May, or March done. Please just enjoy right where you are. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was right here. Nope, it's right here. Just enjoy where you are now. Enjoy the making of, of, of the documenting of the memories. Okay, that's all I'll say for now. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, all the products are listed in the description. And if you like this video, I would love a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.